Hello friends, this is Miss Ella with Harmony at Home. I'm happy you are joining me again for a new musical adventure. Remember last week we met the wonderful musicians of soul percussion and made music in our homes? Well, this week our musical exploration will take us to Africa. This is our first singing lesson and I'm really excited to teach you a beautiful song that comes from Ghana, a country in Africa. We will have two special young guests who will join us to sing our song. You will meet them later. As always, we will start with a short game. Last time we played the echo game. And you might have noticed that I was clapping, but I was also using what we call in music, rests. Let me show you an example. Rests are simply the absence of sound, but I'm sure you could all feel that I was keeping the same beat, the same tempo for my rhythm. Do you remember those words? My tempo, which is the speed of my rhythm, didn't change, but we had some silent moments. Those are the rests in music. Later on, we will also learn how to write it all down. Let's play this game again, but this time I'm going to do some more complicated rhythms. Ready? Very good, you're starting to be real rhythm experts. Before we start learning the song, let's prepare our voices. Like before doing gymnastics, dancing ballet, or playing soccer, we need to warm up. The first thing we need to do is to talk about breathing. Yes, I know you all know how to breathe. You have been doing it every second of your life since you were born. But when we sing, we need to breathe in a certain way so that we have enough air to support the sound we create. Let's stand up and do some exercises. Our first exercise will be to take a big breath and fill our lower belly with air without raising our shoulders. I will explain to you exactly what I mean. When I take a big breath like this, I cannot sing because the air is too high. So now I will take one more big breath, but I will fill my lower belly with air and I will leave my, my shoulders down, relaxed. So it will look like this. Again. Do it with me. You can put your hands on your shoulders so you will feel if you're lifting them up. Let's do it. Again, were you able to take a big breath and still keep your shoulders down and, and relaxed? Now put your hands on your waist and again take a full breath. Let's do it. One more. Can you feel your sides expanding with all that air? Now let's do an exercise that I love. This is the exercise I call the witch exercise. So we will put our hands on our belly and we will laugh like a witch. Ready? Let's do it. You will feel your muscles working. Did you feel it? Those are the muscles. 
muscles we use when we breathe and sing correctly. One more important thing, I breathe from my mouth and not from my nose. It makes less noise and you can take a bigger breath by opening your mouth. Now let's breathe in to the count of four and out to the count of four as well. We'll do it twice and I will be counting with my fingers. Don't forget to breathe correctly. Ready? One more. Now let's add a sound when we breathe out so you can hear the length of your breath. We will make the sound shh when we breathe out and try to do it as long as possible. Let's do it. Ready? Very good. Let's do one more. We'll use the sound f, f, f again as, as long as you can. Okay? As long as possible. Let's do it. And Great. Now let's warm up our voices in a fun way. First of all, let's relax our lips. Can you do this? Do it with me. Very good. Now let's use this sound and we will do a slide going down and up. Listen once. Do it with me. Very good. Now let's do like waves. Do it with me. Let's do now the sound mmm. Now we will go up the slide, down and up. Let's do it. Try to get to the higher note as much as you can, the highest that you can and the lowest one. Now let's do the wave. One more time. And last one, we'll open our mouth and we'll say ah. We'll sing ah. So we'll do slide down and up. Let's do it. One more. And waves. Very good. I think you're ready for our song. So where is Africa? Africa is the second largest continent in the world. There are 54 different countries on this continent and it's the hottest continent on earth. Today we're going to learn a song from Ghana. Ghana is located in West Africa and its capital city is Accra. The climate in Ghana is very warm and tropical and it has many natural resources. About 80 languages are spoken in Ghana and English is one of them. The second most spoken language in Ghana is the Tui language of the Ashanti people and our song today will be in this language. Listen carefully, you can hear the song we are about to learn, Senwa de Dende.
de Dende tells the story of a female vulture, a mother, calling the male, the father, to come home and eat. Normally, it's a very long song with many words, but we're going to use only the call, Senua de Dende, the call she uses to call him home. This is a very known song in Ghana and many children sing it, a bit like row, row, row your boat that you all know. To learn the song, I will sing a sentence and you will repeat after me, exactly as we did while playing our game in the beginning of the lesson. But first, let me sing it once so you can hear it. It's a very short song. Senwa de dende senwa, senwa de dende senwa, senwa de dende senwa de dende senwa de dende senwa. At the end of the song, we start all over again. This song is a round and it never stops. When you get to the end, you start all over again. The reason why we start all over again is because we can sing this song as a canon, meaning singing the same music, but starting at different times. Like two cars driving in the same direction at the same speed, but one starts before the other. So now that you know what the round is and what the canon is, we can start learning the song. The words for the song are Senua de Dende. Say it with me once. Senua de Dende. I'm going to break this song into three short sentences, or as we call it in music, three phrases. The first and the second phrases are exactly the same. Let's sing it once. I will sing and you will repeat after me. Ready? Senua de Dende, Senua. Sing it with me. Senua de Dende, Senua. Is the melody going up, down? Yes, it goes down. Let's sing one more time these two sentences. Mm, this is a note. Ready? Senua de Dende, Senua. Senua de Dende, Senua. The third phrase is longer and it starts higher. There is an octave between the end of the second phrase and the beginning of the third one. Do you remember the octave we worked on last week? The one from the Happy Birthday song? This is the same one. It's a seven step jump. It's a big jump and we need to sing the right note or else it will not sound very good. Senua, Senua. Do it with me once. Senua, Senua. This phrase is longer and it goes down. We go down as if we were using the stairs. Let's use our hand to help us with that. Listen once. Senua de dende, senua de dende, senua de dende, senua. Sing it with me. Senua de dende, senua de dende, senua de dende, senua. Now we can sing the whole song. Don't forget that this is a round, so we will need to start from the beginning once we get to the end of the song. We will sing it twice. Senua, this is the first note. Ready? Senua de dende, senua. Senua de dende, senua. Senua de dende, senua de dende, senua de dende, senua. Senua de dende, senua. Senua de dende, senua. Senua de dende, senua de dende, senua de dende, senua. Now that you sing it so well, there is one last thing we need to talk about. You already know that the first phrase is repeated, so we should do something to make it sound a bit more interesting. Do you have any ideas? How could we do that? Imagine you're calling someone or saying something. If no one answers, are you going to repeat your call the same way twice? I'll give you an example. Hello, hello. 
this doesn't sound right. You would probably get impatient and because no one is listening to you. So your second call would be louder. Hello? Hello? In music, we call this dynamics. We use dynamics to make the music more interesting, more pleasing. So we will sing the first phrase, piano, meaning soft in Italian. Then we will repeat this phrase louder, mezzo forte, we say in the music language that comes from Italian. Let's sing these two phrases. Don't forget, the first one is piano and the second one is mezzo forte. This is the note. Ready? Now we are already louder than we were in the beginning. So we're going to use the third phrase, the last and longest one, to gradually decrease the volume. We call this diminuendo in music. So we will start the third phrase loud and strong. We call this forte in music and we will do a diminuendo. So don't forget, the first phrase is piano. The second phrase is mezzo forte. The third phrase, we start forte and we do a diminuendo. Let's sing it like that. This is the first note. Ready? And. It sounds much more interesting. We call this phrasing in music. It's like telling a really interesting story using dynamics and making it more captivating. So you already know the song and you're singing it using dynamics, piano, mezzo forte, forte and diminuendo. I think we are ready to add to it some body percussion. Do you remember what percussion is? Percussion is a group of musical instruments that are played by hitting, shaking or scraping. Now, can you guess what body percussion is? It means using your body as an instrument. Take a minute and try to find different ways to use your body and create sounds with it. Go ahead, do it right now. So, did you find something? Do you have any ideas? There are many ways to do that. I will show you the rhythm we're going to play and the body percussion I'm going to use but you can explore more possibilities later. Do you remember that last week Soul Percussion shared with us a piece written by John Cage? Once upon a time, once upon a time, a once upon a time. In that piece, John Cage used words to make rhythm. This is a great way to learn a new rhythm, thinking about a sentence that will help us memorize the rhythm. Let's say the sentence I like to play outside in rhythm. I will say it once and you will repeat it after me. I like to play outside. Say it with me. I like to play outside. One more time. I like to play outside. Now let's add the body percussion. I will show you how to do it. We will have one clap, one, two, one, two, clap. Do it with me. Clap. One, two, one, two, clap. Our sentence is, I like to play outside. So let me show you how to do it with the body percussion. I like to play outside. Do it with me slowly. I like to play outside. One more time. I like to play outside. Now let's do it faster. Ready, and I like to play outside. One more time. I like to play outside. Now keep saying the sentence in your head and do only the rhythm. 
Ready in. Again. Now you know the rhythm, but we need to do it at the right moment. We will use this body percussion at the end of each phrase. Do you remember how many phrases we have? That's right, we have three phrases. The first phrase is repeated and we have one more phrase at the end. We will play the rhythm on the last senwa of each phrase. Let me show you how to do it. First phrase, just look. Senwa da 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 senwa. Second phrase. Senwa da 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 senwa. Third phrase. Senwa da 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 senwa da 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 senwa da 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 senwa. Do it with me once, slowly. This is the first note. Ready? not easy since you're singing one thing and playing another rhythm at the same time but you can practice and I'm sure you will get it right let's do it one last time for now we will sing the song twice you remember it's around and we will play the rhythm at the same time try to think also about the dynamics remember piano mezzo forte, forte and diminuendo. If you feel that this is too hard for now, you can choose to just sing the song or just play the rhythm. But remember, practicing will make it better. I also had to practice to get it right. Let's do it. This is the first note and we start piano. Ready? told you this song was a round and a canon? Since I cannot sing two voices at the same time, I invited today two Harmony program students who already learned the song. They will sing with us and we will perform a canon. Let's say hello to them. Hello Talia and hello Dan. Hi! I'm so happy you're here with us today to help us sing the canon. So we will all sing the song once together. Then we will let Talia and Dan start. And we will start on the last senwa of their first phrase. Sounds complicated? Don't worry, I will do it with you. So again, we all sing the song once together. Then Talia and Dan will start and we will start after them. Look at me, I will help you. So once we start the canon, we will sing the song twice. So actually we sing the song three times, only we will have a short break after the first time and we will let Talia and Dan start. And then we will join them. Don't forget the body percussion. Do you remember? And of course the dynamics. Piano, mezzo forte, forte and diminuendo. I will give you the first note. Mm, this is the first note. Ready?
I'm so proud of you. And thank you, Talia and Dan, for making music with us today. You can practice the song at home to get better at it. Try to find other rhythms that might work with this song or invent other body percussion. Be creative. There are many ways to do that. You can also try to use the rhythm we learned today with a different song. Is it possible? Are you going to need to change the tempo to do that? Slower? Faster? Try and you will see. I will see you next week for a new lesson. And until then, make it a musical week.